right. So yesterday we talked about definitions and you guys wrote sentences. And today we're going to talk about synonyms and antonyms for week three words. So remember, when we're doing synonyms and antonyms, you need to have at least two synonyms and two antonyms written out on your journal. I'll do more than that, but you need at least two. Before we get started, let's review the hand motions for our last five or for our five words for week three. Commotion, noisy excitement and confusion. Unison, exact agreement. Superior, better. Reluctant, showing doubt or unwillingness. And abbreviate, to make shorter. Make sure that you have your week three, your vocabulary journal open, and you're probably dual screening on your screen right now so that you can write the synonyms and antonyms that we talk about for each word. Let's start with commotion. Commotion is a noisy excitement or confusion. And guess what? The words excitement and confusion are both synonyms for our word. So excitement and confusion can both be excitement can both be synonyms for our word commotion. Huh, can you think of any other words that you could use for commotion? A couple other words that I have written down is a disturbance or an uproar. I like the word uproar because it really makes me, helps me envision what a commotion would be. Can you imagine like an uproar? Ah, like things are crazy, right? So synonyms for commotion are excitement, confusion, disturbance, or uproar. Write two of those down. Some antonyms, so the opposite of confusion and uproar, loudness, craziness, is calm, right? Peaceful or quiet, right? That's the opposite of loud, crazy, right? And maybe you guys can think of people that are the opposites like that. Somebody who's loud and crazy and full of excitement and someone else who's calm and peaceful and quiet, right? So synonyms and antonyms for the word commotion, noisy excitement and confusion. The next word that I have is the word unison and the definition is exact agreement. And you're right. Agreement is a synonym. It means the same thing. To be in agreement with someone means that you are together on an issue. You think the same types of things. I could also use the word sameness or accord. Accord is one that's a little bit diff a little bit um, different. And not maybe we're not as familiar with that. But you might have heard the phrase like, "Oh, we're of one accord. We all agree together, right?" So someone who's of one accord, we're all together, and we think the same type of thing. So those are a couple synonyms for the word unison, and some antonyms. So the opposite of agreeing and being together, maybe you're working in harmony, would be well, a disagreement, right? Maybe we are going to have a disagreement on the best type of pet. You might think the best type is a dog. I might think the best type is a hedgehog. We have dis a disagreement, or you might also be familiar with the word a conflict, right? And we will have conflicts with people. Even if we're friends with them, we might not agree with them, and we might conflict with them. So write down, pause this video, and write down two synonyms and two antonyms for the word unison. Exact agreement. Superior yesterday, we talked about as better being a synonym, um, but I might also use the words greater, above, or higher. Any of those words would be synonyms for the word superior. I'm sure you guys can probably think of even more um, more synonyms for the word superior, and you're probably going to be right. Something that's better or above or higher than what you expected. Well, the opposite of doing better than what you thought would be, ooh, below, right? Below or lower, or one of my favorite antonyms for that one would be inferior. That seems very strong, like, ooh, that was inferior. That was way below what I expected, and you're going to have to do it again, right? That was not the effort that I wanted. So those are three um, antonyms, below, lower, or inferior. Those are antonyms for the word superior. Pause this video and write two of each. Now that we have those synonyms, let's move on to the word reluctant. Reluctant means showing doubt or unwillingness. And to be um, reluctant about something would be something like afraid, uncertain, 
or unwilling. Notice I have a lot of prefixes there. Those that prefix un means not, so not certain or not willing, right? When I'm talking about something I'm not sure about, the prefix un, im, il, in, or er are all going to be very good prefixes that make the opposite, right? So I'm reluctant. The opposite of being reluctant or an antonym of reluctant would be eager or in enthusiastic. That should sound familiar. So eager is one of our vocab words from last try. Enthusiastic. I also have ready or willing. So if you're feeling the opposite of reluctant about the science fair, you might be eager, enthusiastic, super ready to get started, or willing. Choose two of those synonyms and antonyms to talk about that word reluctant, showing doubt or unwillingness. Our last word is the word abbreviate, and abbreviate means to make shorter, right? So just like the word shorter is in our definition, it can also mean a synonym because we know synonyms mean the same. So to shorten, condense, or to summarize. You'll probably be pretty familiar with the word shorten and summarize. We've done a lot with summarizing using somebody wanted but so then, right? We shorten down, we, we condense or make smaller the, our books while we're summarizing them. Condense, I always think of sweetened condensed milk. I don't know if you're familiar with it. It's amazing, super like delicious. Don't eat, I mean, like it's really sweet. But what they've done is they've taken milk, they've added sugar, and they've put it in one little can. And you might use sweetened condensed milk for desserts or to top something, or maybe you're gonna like spread it on top of a of a sweet thing and, and it adds sugar. So I always think of sweetened condensed milk. And I think, oh, instead of the big thing of milk, I get a little can of sweet milk, right? So if you've never had sweetened condensed milk, look for it at the grocery store. It's delicious, but oh my gosh, it's so sweet. Definitely something you should add into a recipe and not eat raw. Although I will say I've eaten it raw before because I'm sugar. I'm crazy about sugar. All right. So the opposite of abbreviate, so to shorten, is to elongate something, right? So I've got to extend the word extend, expand, or lengthen. So if I'm going to extend the school year. <gasps> couldn't say that. But if I were to extend this school year, I would make it longer. I would say, okay, we're going to go all the way through the month of June and July, and it's going to be all extended, right? Instead of shortening it, making it longer. If I'm going to expand something. I'm going to make it bigger or lengthen something. It makes me think if you've been to the state fair and you've seen like the Laffy Taffy station that they do, they do like a Taffy station, old fashioned Taffy, and they put it in this machine that goes around and around and around and it like lengthens it and makes it super duper long. And that's what makes it chewy and delicious. So pause this video now, make sure that you have two synonyms and two antonyms. Once you have that, come back and finish up this video as we'll do the hand motions one last time together. Now that you have all your synonyms and antonyms, stand up, move your shoulders, get ready to go. I'll say the word. We'll say the definition three times. Commotion, noisy excitement, and confusion. Noisy excitement and confusion. Noisy excitement and confusion. Unison, exact agreement, exact agreement, exact agreement. Superior, better, better better. Reluctant, showing doubt or unwillingness, showing doubt or unwillingness, showing doubt or unwillingness. Abbreviate, to make shorter, to make shorter, to make shorter. Great job watching our videos today. Make sure you have your synonyms and antonyms done. Have a wonderful week.